Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome back to Business Magnate. So, it's been a minute, <laughs> but I'm back at the helm of Vol Voltage Motors, and things are running fairly smoothly. Um, last episode, we had pretty much tried to get into a position to start producing trucks, electric trucks, but I wanted to kind of do a little bit more research, but at the same time, looking at the truck market, truck market they don't really have a lot of great features i wanted to give it some more cutting edge features but i think to be honest with the basic things that we do have researched i think it'll be good enough i mean air condition this one doesn't even have air conditioning how do you have a truck with no air conditioning at this point in at this day and age that doesn't i don't even know anyway so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can go ahead and design our brand new truck which i'm gonna call the olympus just because it's a truck so powerful sent down by the gods capable of moving heaven and earth that's our slogan <laughs> that's our slogan if i could ever actually get it going so i think what i'm also going to do as well is i'm going to probably considering we have three factories right now going with the wasp i'm probably going to actually put up another factory so that i can use the giant one for the truck production because otherwise i don't really want to put it on the small one so we're going to design let's see design a new product olympus i did I already start doing this <laughs> had I already started doing the Olympus? Did I? Okay. If I had, I guess, okay. I'd already named it, apparently. All right, so we got the E115, which is the latest one that we have. I think this is all the latest. All right, so here we go. The Cell 85. I wish we could do better, but I mean, it's, it's the first one on the market, so it can't be the greatest. So we'll, we'll get there eventually. So we're doing manual air conditioning, uh, the basic entertainment. God freaking dang it. The basic entertainment system, basic, the audio navigation system basic anti-theft basic cruise control and back only parking sensor so we'll after we get done with that we'll probably go ahead and start researching the next best uh the next levels of pretty much all of that set so the next one that we do won't be i mean it's not bad but you know it'll be better so the recommended price is sixty-eight thousand. i think we might price this about i want it to be a little bit more expensive than the wasp because it's a freaking truck for goodness sake so Maybe we might price this one about thirty nine thousand. I can't remember what did I have. I think the Wasp is thirty two thousand. So we're gonna price it at thirty nine thousand, just because. I mean, I know an electric truck would be worth way more than this. Freaking electric cars at this point are like thirty four, thirty five, sometimes forty. So I mean, this is this is pretty good for electric truck. I w I would buy this, but I know. Okay, you've been telling me this for a long time. I was gonna be losing money. Okay, if I cared about that at this point, I'd have changed it a long time ago. But let's see i've got to get all that stuff now made so i'm gonna go ahead and put up the other factory so we've got uh we're gonna put up another big production facility i should have enough room down in this corner so i do so we'll go ahead and start producing i've got to do the 115 battery so we're gonna go ahead and produce 10 of those just to start because then after that i can start the auto production uh once i get all the other necessary materials which i hope don't get used up oh frick i forgot i gotta hire a lot more people now for that so we need 20 more people all right so we'll go ahead and start with the production people first i need also five more managers so i'm gonna need to hire those so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and just hire like 30 production workers for the moment just because people are probably gonna end up quitting anyway so i might as well get a couple extra ones just in case so i'm gonna speed through that hopefully let's see do they have enough now i guess they have enough to do something but it's not ideal all right, so I need nine more. Wait a minute, available is 13. Okay, so we're going up. It seems like the recruitment is taking a little bit longer than I expected it to, but I guess it's fine. They finished it still either way. So the E15 is like the one thing that uh, that the other things aren't going to end up using. So that's I guess that's good. Um, I want to do, I guess just for the time being, we're going to end up cutting into production somewhere else, which kind of sucks, but... Um, Hopefully they don't use these before. So we'll start with 12 of the all-wheel drive trains, pretty much. Uh, and then we'll go ahead. We're still oh, freaking god dang it. We're still hiring people. Thought we were done. <laughs> still not done yet. Okay, so now we've got 8 out of 12. We need more materials. Which I'm going to have to start getting more materials in anyway. Because we're definitely going to need them for, these, for this truck production. So let's see. Let's go to the warehouse real quick. I've got like no metals right now. We just got in a new shipment though, so it didn't take us too long to get back on track. But let's see. I want to go ahead. Let's see our pending deliveries. I've been doing deliveries of like 2,000, but um, 
I think we'll bump these up to like 6,000 now in terms of the when the stock is below 6,000. Uh, so let's see, we'll do metal electronics. I'm gonna probably order pretty much everything at this point. Uh, so let's do metal 2000. At some point, we have to get wood too, um, but that's not, I don't have that research yet, so I don't really need it. So we'll go ahead and do automatically do below 6,000. All right, so that's the metal done. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with, and then we'll move on to the plastics. All right, 2,000. Hopefully, I don't end up spending way too much on materials, though, because I'm probably going to end up doing that probably really soon. I haven't really checked to see where our profit margin is right now in a minute, but we're at 13.8 million, so we're still making money, I guess, at the moment. So I guess it's not exactly a concern yet. So I did the metal, the plastics. We're going to go ahead and order now the electronics. We'll go ahead and put in another shipment of 2,000. And we'll also do that one for 6,000 as well. All right, so let's order that. And then we've got, I need my rear metals, okay? Last but not least, the most expensive freaking thing on the list, 2,000, all right? And 6,000, okay? So there we go, that is now done and taken care of. Probably not gonna be enough still to do what I need to do, and I've probably already used up those freaking things that I just produced, didn't I? Um, no, actually, I don't think the other one, Oh no, it didn't. The um the wasp doesn't use the all wool drive, so that one's gonna be safe too for now. For now. Okay, we'll put it for now. So let's see, we've got I need okay, we got the drive train. I need the batteries now. So we got the cell lion 85. I'm gonna produce 10 of those as well. So those will be safe too, because we won't be using those with the wasp. Alright, so I can't freaking get this into 10. It's just not it's not letting me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll just we'll do it. Just do it that way. Alright, so 10. We're not gonna have enough materials right now, but we should in, in we should in a little bit. So we're 13.9. I want to check our margins here in terms of finances. Let's see. We, good lord. Okay, so we made 3.2 million in income last week. We spent almost a million, so we're still making about a eh, little over a million a week. So that's not too bad. One point is it what, like 1.3 million or something like that? I can I can handle that. That's fine. Of course, we want to get up to two million at some point, but. That time has not come yet. So let's see, now we've got to go, okay, we got the batteries now. So we're gonna move on to interior, the basic interior, which those are going to be used, but 12, hopefully we'll have some left by the end of it. Maybe I'll take one of the big facilities and just make them do like 50 of them. Take the big facility and do it that way. <clears throat> but let's see, can we get 12? I was gonna say actually what I might do is I might just pause all production on the wasp for the time being. I usually do that at this point until we can start with the new truck. So we'll go ahead and do that actually. I'll get all the other facilities in on this for the moment. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this one. Let's see, I want to, we just did the interior. So now we need to move on to the, after the interior is the lights. We need the LED ones I think I used in this one. So we're gonna produce 10 of those. I gotta arrow this back over because I can't freaking get it straight where I need it to go. Okay, so then we'll have this one doing, let's see, this one, I need to hire managers as well. So we'll do the steering wheel, the basic steering wheel. All right, so that's way too freaking many. <laughs> All right, there we go, that's 10. All right, steering wheel, and then we'll have this one start on the air conditioning. All right, over, there we go. And I need to hire my managers now. So let's see, employees. Did I get enough production people? Yeah, okay, so we're eight over, so we're good there. All right, so management, we'll go ahead and hire like seven managers. We'll have like two extra ones or something like that. All right, five, six, seven. This one shouldn't take as long because it's not 30 people, but we'll see. All right, so we're already, yeah, we're already like 10% through. We're good. All right, so they're already done with the, well, the big facility's done with the tax task that I gave them. So I'd done... That was the air conditioning, I think was the last one I signed them. So we're going to entertainment system next. All right. I might be getting a lot more materials now though. So a lot, a lot of stuff might end up being stockpiled right now, which is sort of good, but I was gonna say sort of bad because I'm getting all the stuff in and I'm not making any money off of it right now. So it's kind of just sitting in the warehouse. Well, I did, I put one at 6,000. So the other ones, I don't think the other orders are gonna come in yet. So I think we should be good. So I put that one we just did the, what was it, the entertainment system. So this one's going to move to the navigation system. All right, drop that down to 10. All right, so you're doing the navigation system. The other facility will be doing the, let's see, the anti-theft. 
All right. Almost there. Almost there. Not too much longer. All right. So then we got the big facility. We'll now move on to doing, let's see, the anti-theft, the cruise control. And then we'll have this facility, this other facility down in the end should have been done by now. I don't know what, I guess, is it, the, is it still doing the batteries? It's doing basic interiors. Okay. So I don't know why it's taking so long. Everybody else is like finished their stuff. I don't know why this one's just taking forever. All right. So now we should be able to do, let's see, we've got the parking sensors over the last thing that I ended up needing. All right, start production, and with this, we should be able to start producing the Olympus. It's about freaking time. I actually started over here with this one. So the Olympus, actually, I didn't call it the Olympus. I just called it Olympus, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but hey, it's whatever at this point. So we'll, we'll switch that to that, and then we will go ahead and start. We'll switch all these back to the Wasp. We'll do automatic production. At this point, I need all the... Ooh, we can go up to a 1,000 now. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if we're ever going to produce that many of those. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it at 500, which is what we had it at before. So, automatic production for 500 for this one. Automatic production for 500 for this one as well. So, let's see. Four... There we go. About 500. Five... There we go. Automatic production there. And then last facility, the newest one, production facility four. Can I name these... I guess not. <laughs> I would like to name them, but I guess that's not a thing. All right, so we'll go ahead and boost this one up. All right, 490, 500. I need to check our orders now, actually, our unfilled orders. I might be producing way too much at this point. We've got 358 unfilled orders right now for the Wasp. All right, nobody knows about the Olympus yet. We've got that one under wraps. What don't we have? It says we can't. Oh, the bulbs. Frick, we used the bulbs already. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, so let's let's cancel that again. Goodness gracious, god dang it. I gotta go back through here and redo this because we used up all the bulbs somehow. Oh wait, did we not? Wait a minute, it said, did I not use the uh, xenon bulbs? Did I not? I guess I just used regular ones. Lights, bulbs, okay, yeah, I didn't freaking do the one that I thought I did. Okay, well, frick. <laughs> well, god dang it. All right, so lights, bulbs, all right, yeah, because I did, I produced LEDs, I think, accidentally. So we'll go ahead and start production there. And that should be enough. All right, so now we'll go ahead and switch this one back. All right, so we'll have the Olympus. All right, we'll produce our first 10 units. And then we should have enough. Well, actually, I don't have enough to do 10 anymore. I have enough to do seven. <laughs> I have enough to do seven, so we'll do the first seven. I think it only takes five. And so after that, we should be able to do automatic production, I think. Is it five or is it 10? Okay, it's five. Okay, so we'll do, we'll produce 200 of these. We'll go ahead and have these start producing. Um, even though we still haven't released it yet to the public, we'll go ahead and switch all these back to the Wasp now because I freaking have to do this again because I had to cut them off before they used up all the materials and I had saved up for the Olympus or the Olympus, I guess I must call it now because it's not the Olympus. All right, so we're gonna switch this, not freaking, not the Olympus again. All right, 500, all right, there we go. And then another five, so I think we might fill up this parking lot with the, with Olympus. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change. I think I can go back through and rename them. If possible, I'm definitely going to do that because I need to call it the, all right, I just did 500, I don't feel like going back through and changing that. So let's see, marketing wise, sales, uh, let's see, pickup truck. I don't know if I can rename it. I wanted to, but I don't know if I can. It might be in production, let's see. Design a new product, existing products. Can I rename it? There we go, okay, so I can't change the name, so we'll just put the in front. No big deal, no big deal, nothing lost. There, that's, that, that's not how you spell the. All right, there we go, finally. Okay, so auto production is now on the way. All right, I'm probably going to run out of materials here pretty soon, though. Seems like it's running pretty well, though, for the time being, though. So maybe I don't need to order too much more. All right, so actually, no, we just ran out just as I was saying that. <laughs> I spoke a little bit too soon, didn't I? We ran out of metal. Everything else is actually good except for the metal. So I'm probably going to actually put in for another shipment, shipment of metal because uh, I'm going to need it. So I think I might put in, let's see. Sustaining it. That's not what I need. Penny deliveries. Order supplies. All right. So more metal is going to be needed. 2,000. 
We'll go ahead and put this one in for automatically reorder under 7,000, I guess. Bump it up by one, because the last the last round that we did was under 6,000. So there we go, 2,000 more. More, more, more. I probably, sh probably should have just went ahead and ordered a full stack of like 4,000 and just had the weight on it. But we'll see what ends up happening. I don't know, man. I, do, I don't like us being idle for too long, but I guess I don't think we were idle for like less than... As long as we're not idle for an entire day, I guess we're fine. I don't... Let's see. We were idle so far. We've been idle for like seven hours. <laughs> seven hours. I mean, yeah. Seven hours of people doing nothing and getting paid, though. That's that's a thing. <laughs> that can't be too much of a thing. We got the parking lot about... What? Is this... Maybe about... I, I wouldn't say that's exactly half yet. Eh, it might be half. All right. So we've got... How many do we have total now? I'm going to look in the warehouse real quick. We've got, I guess it would be in the second one, wouldn't it? Or not. They used to show up in the warehouse. I guess not anymore. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know how many we have over here. There we go. Now it's showing up. It's in storage overview. We had 35 so far, which I thought we had more. <laughs> Based on the sheer amount of car trucks I see over here, I thought we had more than 35, but guess not. Up to 14 million now, over 14 million. Let's look at our finances overall, though. We... This week we have spent 1.3, well we made 1.3 million, we spent almost 900,000 so far, so we're still making a decent bit of money. When those rare metals come in though, that's where we're going to spend a lot, like these weeks like this where it just jumps up like crazy. We only made like 500,000 this week though, or last week, so that's a little bit concerning, but I guess a lot of that has to do with this, because we're just stockpiling trucks at this point. So, let's see. The moment of truth has come. We're going to go ahead and do some markings. We're going to start a new campaign, all right, for the Olympus. All right, we're going to run this. I mean, we don't need too much. We're going to put $1,250 into it and just run it for a day. Go ahead and start it. And these things should start flying off the shelves like hotcakes. At least I hope, because if they don't, we're in a rough spot here. <laughs> if they don't, we're in a rough spot, aren't we? So sales. Let's see, unfilled orders. We've got nothing for the Olympus right now. We're still hovering about 400 for the Wasp. It's actually, um, the orders have gone up now for the Wasp. We've gotten it down. I guess now we're trying to get back on track, but it's not at a great point right now. I guess I could pause it again and then come back. All right, do we have the Olympus? we got one unfilled order. It's not really. I want to see how we're looking in terms of the market, though. So it looks like our first day in, we took over the market, so that's good. The orders don't really pile up too much for the trucks, but we might look to change that pretty soon, at least I hope. Wait, did someone else take over today? I won't have that, okay? My truck is amazing. None of these trucks are electric, okay? We are the first and only electric truck on the market. I can't have them taking this from me. We're at almost 16 million, though, so the trucks are coming in pretty handy. I might have to scale back, though, because we've got a lot of them in the parking lot, and we're not selling them. <laughs> We're not really selling them. We might have to do another marketing campaign, actually. I usually don't have to do more than one. But I guess maybe people aren't buying trucks, which is kind of an opposite of what's happening in real life because people are really kind of buying a lot of trucks and SUVs and things. That's why, I've, like, a lot of the manufacturers cut out, like, car sedans and stuff. But we'll go ahead and do another round, I guess, 1,250, and we'll see what ends up happening. Hopefully, it will lead to more sales, but then again, it might not. I might just pause this for a minute and let us sell out what we have. I should have, I should not have done this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pause production right now and we'll see how long it takes us to get rid of all of those. We already, we made it through like half of our, uh, pretty much half of our 200. So we'll, we'll have that facility idle for the moment. Um, I think what we might do as well is, let's see, back to the sales, back to the pickup market. Uh, we had eight orders today. So far, we've been steady at like six. So we have, we do technically, I guess, have control of the market. It's a slim, I guess, margin, but it's it's there. I'll switch this one back to the Wasp for the time being. We're going to try and produce like 200 to try and keep up with demand for the Wasp. All right. Eventually, these trucks will start to go away. <laughs> I keep telling myself that, but it hasn't really started happening yet, has it? <laughs> I guess some of the ones that we've seen have now been replaced by the cars. Actually, nope, we're starting to see some of them disappear. This is good, this is good news. We're up to 17 million now. So, I'm okay with this, this is good. Day 197 now. 
Once we get down to this last area here, I think we might start production back up again. I need to see. They stopped selling the Hemovenator 6 and the 7. Hemovenator 7. Is that in the mini market or was that in. <coughs> I'm sorry, the super mini market? Hemovenator 7 is new, so they must have started back selling it. I thought I said they stopped selling it. I didn't say they started. Okay, they introduced the 7 and stopped selling the 6. That makes sense. So let's see, in comparison to our Wasp, the 7 is not exactly that big of a competitor, seemingly. Well, I mean, it's better than ours, but it's more expensive. We have to come out with another one soon. Soon. I said I was going to start doing some research, which I still need to do. But I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.